It says a community college employs 87 full-time faculty members. To gain the faculty's opinions about an upcoming building project, the college wishes, president wishes to obtain a simple random sample that will consist of nine faculty members. So they number the faculty from one through 87, and we want to pick out nine faculty members. Okay. So uh, the first way they do it in problem A is using this random number table. So I'm going to uh, click on it to open it. And it's just a table of random digits. And it tells me where to start. It says uh, it points to the digit in row three, column six. Uh, rows go across columns, like the columns on a building go up and down. So row three, column six, is this number nine. So I'm going to switch over to, um, I printed this column up so that I can write on it. So again, we're looking for a sample of size nine. And the numbers are from 1 to 87. So uh, we can't have a number that's bigger than 87. We have to throw that out. And it did say to start in row 3, column 6. And so uh, because my biggest number is 87, and that has two digits, I'm going to be working with two digits at a time. So row 3, column 6 was that 9. and Next to it is a one. So that is faculty member 91, except it's bigger than 87. So I'm going to ignore that one. I'm going to go, now we move down the um, column to the next row. The next two digits I see are five zero. So faculty member 50 is the first person I'm going to include. In my lab, they ask you to type a comma in between them. So you're going to type them all in a row with commas between them. Now, your table could be different, so be careful with that. Um, I move down to the next one, 25. That's small enough, so I include that. The next one is 98. Too big, so I throw that one out. All right? I've hit the bottom of the list. Any ideas? Go to the next column to, yeah. I think it might be 54. Yeah, so we're going to go up to the very top, but uh -huh. over to the next column. And it's actually uh, 45, for me anyway. And then I continue to move down from there. So the next one is 24. 72 is okay. 17 is okay. And now I'm up to six numbers, but I do need nine. Uh, the next one is 95, too big. The next one is 67, so I'll include that. Back to the top. Now, this time, uh, we ignore the big gap between those columns. So I'm going to go with 55. I think that was 8. And then the next one is 71. And so those are the nine people I would include. Now, one thing that I have to make sure of is that I haven't repeated any of the numbers. So for instance, say this 55 at the end was a 25, but I already have a 25 here. I can't use person 25 twice. I would skip over that one and do one more person. And I'll show you what that means in the next part of the problem. So anyway, that's how you read one of these tables of random digits. And in the old textbooks, they used to have 10, 20 pages of these filled with digits. And you would randomly pick a page and randomly pick a column and randomly pick a row. And that's where you would start. Uh, now we use computers to generate the random numbers for us, which is definitely much better. All right, so um, just so that I can move to the next part of the problem, I'm going to type those in, uh, like I mentioned, with commas. So for me, that was 50, 25, 45, 24, 72, 17, 67, 55, and 71. Uh, again, I type commas between them. Sometimes students type periods, and it'll mark it wrong, and it'll sure look like it's right. Also, um, I didn't type any spaces between them. I think you can if you want to, but
but it's not necessary. Check my answer. I get some praise like nice work. And then it's on to part B. Uh, part B says the president uses technology to produce the following random numbers. And if you'll notice, there are 10 numbers there. Um, all of them are smaller than 87, so they're all okay. But um, are there any duplicates in there? Number 84. Yeah, number 84 um, is used twice. Is it a four? Yeah. So, like I yeah. so like I just mentioned in the last part of the in the last part of the problem, I'm going to skip the second 84 when I type those in. So, I have 47, 84, 66, 30, 74. Skip the repeat. 3, 83, 29, 67. So that's how we use the random uh, digit table to pick a sample from a population where we have them numbered. Uh, one thing that didn't come up is if the first digit's a zero, like you had zero seven, that's the number seven. Right? We ignore the zero at the beginning. 